Hey guys, Mike from the Off Grid Shop here. Today we're talking about solar panel angle and how important it is. When you live in off grid, it is so important to get your angles right. And the reality is on the internet when you do some searches, most things are related to grid connected solar systems and producing the most amount of energy per year because it's all about a financial return. And off grid, that's not what it's about. It's about consistency and getting that energy all year round. Now stick around to the end. If you'd like us to do one of these on your, your property, we're giving away 10 free options to do this for 10 properties around the world. We pretty much can do anywhere in the world. Some photos are not gonna be as good as others, but we can pretty much service anywhere in the world. We can actually take a photo, grab an image, and we can do this design on your own property. So you can have these exact figures for your exact property. So cool, so let's get into the video. What I wanna start with is the most common roof angle around the world is about 22 degrees. So. Most panel recommend just put solar panels flat to roof and just stick with that angle because it is lower cost. There's no tilt frames and things like that. So I just want to show you, now this here is a property we've picked. Now most places around the world, when you look into these programs, look into streets, there's a difference between magnetic north and true north. Now these images are true north. So the top of this line here is true north. If you're in the Southern hemisphere, you'd be looking for true south. Now this building actually technically faces northeast. So if we just whack the panels on this roof here facing northeast with the roof line, because that's gonna be the easiest way for installation for the installers. They're gonna to wanna to follow all the screw lines on the roof. Now, if you have a look in January, this system, it's a five and a half kilowatt system, 5.8. It's gonna produce about 30 kilowatt hours a day. We've picked the sun power panels here. So this system is gonna produce about 30 kilowatt hours a day on average in summer. Now these programs do take into consideration weather, rainy days, cloud, and things like that. So your systems will produce more and they will produce less, but on average, it's gonna produce about 30 kilowatt hours a day in summer. Now I always say to people, summer's easy because long days compensate for bad angles in summer. Pretty much you can put your panels anywhere and everywhere in summer and they're gonna work. The closer you get to the equator, the flatter you can lay your panels. Now, we've just put these at 22 degrees in this roof here. Now, the reality is an installation of a roof like this, we'll just go to winter. So in the middle of June, which down in the Southern Hemisphere, in the southern hemisphere for us, it is 20, 20 kilowatt hours a day in June. Where if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, it's gonna flip. So your summer is gonna be in, the, in June and you'll get a better production. So, so 20 kilowatt hours a day, and you can see between January and June, you're losing about 10 kilowatt hours per day. If you just whacked your panels flat to roof and face them northeast like this here. The rally a system like this, the easiest installation from installation point of view, would we have the panels facing west like that. It's gonna be the easiest, simplest solution. And as you can see the difference. So we've jumped up to 30 kilowatt hours a day still in summer, that hasn't changed. But in winter, we've lost four kilowatts a day. So we've gone from 20 in winter down to 16, so we've lost almost four kilowatt hours a day. Now that's huge, in an off-grid situation, depending on how you use energy, like for me personally in my house, we used to be when we first did our first off-grid house when we designed it, winter wasn't an issue for us. We could get away with a very small energy consumption winter because we had a fireplace where we cooked, it heated the house, heated the hot water, it did everything we wanted to do. So you can use your fireplace to do lots of different things, and in summer, we run the air conditioner, so we wanted a lot more energy. So in winter, our solar system become lights, TVs, and fridges, it's pretty basic. Now, so this basically really, if your panels are facing west there, and you've only got 16 kilowatts, you've really got about 12 usable kilowatt hours per day in winter from your off-grid solar system. That's about what you've got to use. Over a daily basis, you can use about 12 kilowatt hours per day, and you're good to go. So. Let's flip these back around here, with them north. So we've got them true north, and the real difference between northeast and, and true north is really not much difference. It's really important that you do find true north, not magnetic north. So do some research, because everywhere in the world it's different. So for us here in the Northern Rivers of New South Wales, around Byron Bay, uh, our true north is actually 12 and a half degrees west of uh, magnetic north, so it's quite simple. So yeah, so having them true north, we actually just do, so it was that northeast, just so you can see the difference. 
So it's 20.9 kilowatt hours in winter. We just flick them north, get that true north in winter. It's actually 100 watts. So it's not a huge amount of difference at northeast and northwest. Now, let's play with the angle. Now, this is the most important thing. As you see, there's not much of a difference between just northeast and northwest when we play around with that. Now, let's play with the angle. Now, if you put your panels flat to roof, now remember, if you're up around the equator, you're one are going to do this. So let's put 10 degrees in there. So as you can see in summer, we gain an extra two kilowatt hours, but in winter, we lose two. So we just put our panels flat, flat to roof. That's a very low angle. About the lowest angle I've ever seen most roofs will be about five degrees. Some commercial roofs are zero degrees. If you look at that, if you have a five degree roof, you're going to lose that three kilowatt hours per day. And as I said, this is actually an average that you're losing per day. On the better days, it's going to be a lot worse. You're going to lose that energy. So 17 kilowatts. Now, we did that all off a 22 degree angle. Now let's go, for us here in the Northern Rivers, the best angle for your solar panels here in Northern New South Wales and in Australia is your latitude plus 12 and a half degrees. Most of the East Coast of Australia that will apply. Now, so if we take that into consideration, the best angle for us, our latitude is 28 degrees here. We had 12 and a half, we'll just 40.5. 40 would be close enough, would be good enough. And as you can see here, it really changes that in summer, it brings down our production in summer, but it brings up our winter to 23. So it gives us that more consistent energy all year round. That's what you're really looking for off grid. If you're a grid connected customer, and that's the problem with most of the research online, is everything's grid connected. So everything's about making the most amount of money and feeding back the whole entire year. And that's actually not true, it doesn't work out. You wanna self consume, more of your solar that you consume, the better. So the system doesn't produce as much in summer, but you can see in winter, it's only two kilowatt hours less in winter when you have the panels on the right angle. So it's so important that you get that panel angle right to get that winter production up. A lot of people don't like having things on tilt frames, but the reality is if you're gonna be off grid, it's so important to get the angle right to get that consistency of energy. And you see here for us in the Northern Rivers, our biggest month is September, October. Um, the reason those two months are the biggest is because it's the bluest skies clear. Come January, February for us, we're in a humid climate with the build up to the wet. So we've got lots of cloud cover and that sort of stuff and lots of rain um, in February, January, February. So we don't get that much production. So, and everywhere around the world is different. So it's really important to get this done per location. There we go. So yeah, so having them at that 40 degree angle, which is ideal for us in the Northern Rivers, gives us the most consistent production all year round. That's what you're looking for is consistency. Now I wanna show you another trick that we like to do uh, when we design solar systems off-grid. The thing with off-grid living is when your batteries are full, your solar panels are gonna turn off. So what we like to do, I like to splay the arrays, is something what we call it. So we'll grab these here. So if you think about the best time to do this is in your winter time and not around daylight savings. The ideal angles to have your panels facing here is if you can find 10.30 in the morning, where the panel, where the sun is at 10.30 in the morning, we'll grab some, we'll use the sun power 480s, I think that's what we're using here. Okay, grab those. No, we won't. Okay, we'll grab a sun power panel here. We'll using the sun power 485, 485. There we go. Put that over here. One, two, three, four. Oh, three. Add another panel. So what you're looking for in the middle of winter there, you want to find exactly where 10:30 in the morning is. So you've got 30 year panels. The way I like to do it is a 30 year panels facing east and two thirds of your panels facing west. And at that afternoon sun, you wanna find 1.30 in the afternoon. So you wanna find exactly where 1.30 is in the afternoon. If you can have a look, the production in winter, you're losing five kilowatt hours there a day if you do decide to do this. So let's flick those around. Bring those a bit back more that way. What you're looking for is that consistency. 
So it's 21 kilowatt hours per day in there. The reason we like to display the array and find 1030 and 130, oh, hang on, I know the reason that's not, oh, those angles are not correct. 40 degrees, there we go. Aha. There we go, it's brought up a little bit, not a huge amount. Um, so yeah, so displaying the array, what it gives you is when the sun rises in the morning, you've got these panels here directly, four panels, they're getting charged straight away. And then as the sun goes on over through the day in that late afternoon, you, you use more panel, more directly from your solar panels of an afternoon. If you think about the way we live our lives, most of us in the morning, we're quick, coffees are quick, breakfast is quick, we're in and out, we're gone, off to work for the day or out into the paddock to do whatever it is we're doing on our properties. Now, of an afternoon is when we tend to do more longer cooks, air conditioners run long and things like that when you are using a lot of energy. So it's, if you can have the option to have your panels like this and have the panels facing directly that 1.30 in the afternoon, you're gonna get more self-consumption from your solar panels. And the reality is, put as many solar panels up as you can, if you can fit. The more solar panels you have, the less you will run the generator. And look, there's just certain times where it rains for weeks at a time, there's nothing you can do. We've had one of these seasons for us in the Northern Rivers, uh, as an example, as a business, our energy bill, bill normally as a business is about, the most it's ever been is $280 uh, in a quarter for three months. So it's been the most it's ever been. And the last quarter we had, it's, it was actually almost $4,000. We've just had terrible weather. So <laughs> it's, uh, it was a bit of a shock to get that one um, because yeah, the sun just hasn't been, hasn't been there. We've been doing lots of rainy weather and things like that. And for us as a business, we just use the grid. Uh, in an off-grid situation, you're gonna be running your generator a lot and burning a lot of diesel. So it's just one of those things. And the more panels you have up in the bad weather, when the weather's not the best, the panels are gonna perform more. So cool. I hope this has been helpful, guys. Now, for you guys that have stuck around, thank you. And if you wanna get access to getting this done for free, what we're gonna do, we need 10 people the opportunity. We will do this for you as long as we can do it in your location. Anywhere in the world, we can do this design for you and give you a design of what's gonna be the best solution for your individual property or your house or situation. Now, to get access to that there, if you just comment down below, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and make sure you comment down below, and we'll actually send you the details to get in touch with us. The first 10 people to comment on, the, on this YouTube video, we're gonna give access to, we will do this design for free and give you access to the program. We'll, we'll do the design and give you access to the picture and the data. So we'll be able to give you all this data so you'll be able to see how much system on your roof would produce. So thanks for watching guys and have a great day.